mathematics probability part two we're going to look at the following outline probability on dice will be continued that will finish in the last video they will continue with probability on coin in this video and then we'll look at probability on coin and dice all right let's begin probability on dice example remember dice have six face so two fair dice are thrown what is the probability of getting a the sum of nine b two prime numbers all right and then c the product of 12. solution since the dice are two we have two sample space one to six and one to six all right The sample space, number of sample space will now be 6 times 6, which is 36, right? So we're going to put it in table form. The first dice, 1 to 6, okay? The second dice on the side, 1 to 6. This time we are not adding because we are asked question on product, we are asked question on sum so we can just sum sum it or add it so we'll just put the numbers side by side all right one 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 comma two one comma three one comma four one comma five one comma six then two comma one two comma two two comma three two comma four and so on all right three comma one three comma two three comma three and so on all right we do that and fill up our table that will enable us to get our event spaces while we'll be solving is that okay i hope that's simple enough to understand all right for the first question to get the sum of nine the values in the table that will give us a sum of nine are given below six three five four and so on there are about four of them so probability of sum of nine will now be number of event space over number of sample space which will give us four over 36 all right if we break it down we are going to have one over nine all right the b part of the question two prime numbers so the prime numbers in the table that the in the pairs that we have two comma two two comma three two and five three and two three and three and so on they're about nine of them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So probability of prime numbers will give us nine over thirty-six. Is that okay? When you reduce it, you have one over four. Next, the C part, probability of getting product of twelve. The product of 12 in the table the pairs that will give us 12 when you multiply them are 2 comma 6 6 comma 2 3 comma 4 and so on there are about four of them as we can see it the number of event space is equals to 4 the probability of product of 12 will now be 4 over 36 is that okay don't forget the sample space is 36 that's 6 times 6 so we'll reduce it down we're going to have 1 over nine that's our answer next we look at probability on coins a coin have two sides the front and the back all right the front is the head and the back is the tail take note of that 
let's look at this example a fair coin is tossed once what is the probability of getting a a tail b a head and c a tail or a head solution so the coin can be head or tail so number of event space is two probability of getting a tail will be the number of event space is one all right so probability of getting a tail will be one over two don't forget head or tail that the sample space is two so getting a tail will just be one over two probability of getting a head the number of event space is also one all right so probability of getting a head will also be one over two that's very easy okay the c part of the question probability of getting a head or a tail will be to add the answers we had in a and b so one over two plus one over two So half plus half is going to give us one. Is that okay? All right. Next example. Example three. A fair coin is tossed twice. All right. This time you have two coins. The mind the probability of getting a head followed by a tail. Either you have two coins or you have one coin thrown twice. It's the same thing. So the sample space in this case, when you throw the two coins, you have head head, you can have head tail, you have tail head or tail tail. So number of sample space will be four. The event space, getting a head followed by a tail is just only one, head tail in the sample space. All right. So number of event space is one. So probability of getting a head followed by a tail will just be one over four. That's very simple. Example four now. A coin is tossed three times. Either one coin tossed three times or three coins thrown once is the same thing. Find the probability of getting two tail and one head. All head. Okay. At least one tail. Right solution. The first coin can either have head or tail. Second coin can have head or tail, and the third one can have head or tail. We're going to use the tree diagram to make it easy. Using the tree diagram, we have the coin. All right. Now, first true, you have head or tail. A head or a tail. Second row, all right, you are going to have four sample space head, tail, and head, tail. And the third row, we're going to have eight sample space, which is what we need right now head, tail head tail head tail and head tail all right so, so we're going to put them in brackets so the first when you throw the three coin you can have head head all through for the three or head head tail all right or head tail head or head tail tail or tail head head or tail head tail or you can have tail tail head and finally you can have tail 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 all right so number of sample space is eight for this so a part of the question two tail one head in the 
three diagram is listed we have three of them head tail 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 head tail and so on all right three of them so probability of two tail and a head will give us three over eight don't forget the sample space is eight b part of the question all head is just one head 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 in the three diagram right number of event space will be one in that case so probability of whole head will be one over eight is that okay c part of the question at least one tail simply means can't where you have one tail to where you have two tail to where you have three tails so in the three diagram we have about um, seven of them so probability of at least one tail will give us seven over eight of that's clear so probability on coin and dice the last part of the study example five now a fair dice and two unbiased coins are tossed together to find the probability of getting a prime number and at least a tail so we'll look at them separately and then we'll put them together with and and which is multiplication so for the dice you have one to six it's just a die one to six for the coin is two coins so the sample space will be head 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 tail tail head and tail tail all right a prime number from one to six is three at least a tail is three so probability of prime number will give us three over six which is the total in the area of the dice in the area of the coin probability of at least one tail will give us three over four the total is four all right don't forget in the bracket that we have above okay so probability of prime number and at least one tail and means to multiply so we're going to multiply both our answers three over six all right times three over four okay now three can go into six so we have one over two so one over two times three over four will give us three over eight when you break it down is that okay so you're going to do the following exercise to practice so that you'll be very good in the topic two fair dice are thrown what's the probability of getting a the sum of eight b two odd numbers c the product of 15 d a difference of two number two part of the question a fair coin is tossed once what's the probability of getting a a tail b a head c a tail or a head right the third part of the question a fair coin is tossed twice determine the probability of getting a head followed by a tail before a coin is tossed three times find the probability of getting two head and one tail okay all tail at most two head first first two tail and the third head number five a fair dies and two unbiased coins are tossed together find the probability of getting a prime number and at least a tail a perfect square and one tail the final part of the exercise in a game a fair dice is rolled once and two unbiased coins are tossed once what's the probability of obtaining a a three and two tails b odd number and two heads 
C, A4, or one head. And then D, a multiple of two less than six and at most a tail. For more of our videos, ensure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for being a part of this class.